Solex greenhouse panels. What do they do? How do they work? Stick around with me and I'll show you how you can turn a normal greenhouse into a four season greenhouse. Okay, because of COVID, and I'm not really sure if I could have done it any other way, I did uh, the north wall and roof and this uh, wall. So I can't, I don't think I could, I don't think I can come from this way up and overlap on top. So what I did was I put a, um, um, a drip edge here. I guess it's really not a drip edge. I don't know what you call this. Um, but I've got a, a piece of metal to come over here so that the water can't go back. And I'm going to raise it up so that I can stick the Solex underneath it, screw it down, and then what I'm going to have to do is at each roll, I'm going to have to stick it underneath the bottom piece. I can't roll it out and uh, screw it as we're going, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is, and that's the way we're going to have to try to do it. So um, I put the purlins on, and uh, I decided for a little extra security uh, that I would add... Um, against a little riser on here between the two purlins just so that I don't get the swale if it does it'll help try to hold it up I just uh, just took some finishing nails and towed them in I hear guineas are delicious all right <laughs> maybe they're done so anyhow so I put some strips in here. I went all the way across so that um, when I screw down the purlins, I may put one or two just to hold it, uh, make sure it stays down, but it's really not to really keep it up on the roof, but just to keep it so it didn't swale. Um, I also thought it might be beneficial for me if I have to lean across, which is gonna have to, to do four foot, um, I can lean on this and not worry about um, pulling or twisting uh, the Solex. So let's see if my plan and my concept works. Alrighty, three sheets on. What we did, uh, I didn't get a chance to video. This was a one man band in the beginning. But the first roll, I rolled it out and then I actually took a uh, scraper and tied it on a stick and was able to pull up the drip edge to slide it all the way back. Uh, screwed it on, rolled out the second one sheet, rolled it down on off of that and then slid underneath again had to kind of go down push it all in um, third sheets on doing the same thing uh, fourth sheets gonna be a quarter or uh, more than a quarter about a half I guess um, if I had to do it all over again I would have cut the lengths and just rolled them down I wouldn't have seams um, well I'd still have seams but they'd be running on the trusses um, and I think that would be easier. You could just always be on one side and just lean across. You can see down here, it wasn't too bad up there. I could kind of stay on the truss and uh, lock my legs around the truss and lean over. Down here, there's no room in the truss to get anything in here. So um, it really isn't too bad laying across. This thing is soft, um, but very durable, very durable. You could really lean into it, not a problem. Um, 
you can see there's some waves in it I'm not real fond, uh, happy about that but uh, you can't really pull them out it just seems like that's inherent into the extrusion of the plastic when they did it um, sometimes it's not and sometimes it is so I don't know exactly what's going on or if there's a trick that you need to get out of but I didn't know it and uh, it really doesn't look that bad from underneath so um, we're living with it so that's where we are right now I still got to cut those ends in silicone and kappa and screw them down but uh, I have the wife helped me today so I'm using the extra hands to get the heavy bulky stuff done versus trimming pieces let's continue Alrighty, after some debating, we, uh, we tried multiple different things. Um, what we were trying to do is we were rolling it out. We thought we had it nice and level there. And everything was looking pretty good, but the, it was walking, um, it was actually walking up. And uh, so you could see the wood underneath, and we didn't like that. So we started playing to try to get that even, and then of course even the wood um, there's a little bit of gap between the blocks and that so we started seeing that and the uh, OCD kicked in so what we ended up doing uh, after multiple uh, versions of this is we dropped it down enough so that you can't see the wood at all on that that'll help um, shield that joint anyways um, the gutter is going to be up on the top and so you if there's any variation it'll be hard to see that too and uh, we pulled it over past the blocks on both sides um, screwed it in I did not put it all the way in if you see there's a few screws I'm starting to get a little nervous I got one more piece up there and to put on the roof and I'm starting to feel like I'm getting lost on screws um, there's 200 feet here I got 500 screws I've been putting them about eight inches apart and uh, I'm sure I have enough but just to make sure um, run out of time for today anyway, so uh, I just put some screws on to get it up so that it isn't going to blow away, it isn't going to rip down, and uh, once we get the other piece up, then I'll finish putting that in. But if you look, um, I'll give you a look on the inside. So here we are on the inside. We've got uh, four or three sheets up there, so 12 feet over, four foot on here. Like I said, there's 200 feet of Solex on here, 200 linear feet of 49 and a half inches. Um, we're tied up tight. 
It looks really nice in here. It's amazing. Um, it's a cloudy day if you look out there. There's really no sun. So um, there's now a lot of light necessarily in here or diffusional light. Doesn't look bad. But um, it's actually warmer. I think just blocking the wind, maybe that one there, just blocking the wind um, makes it feel warmer in this greenhouse. But we'll see what happens. Anyhow, that's it for now. I'm going to uh, call it a day. We'll get back in here and we'll uh, do this last piece. The trick here is to seal all these, all these ends um, to stop air movement to cause the, uh, to help with the R factor. Otherwise, really what you spent was a lot of money on two sheets of plastic that you could have done. Um, I did put a drip edge on the edge over here. Uh, we're going to put a ring uh, gutter on here and collect the rainwater because that's what's going to feed this aquaponics greenhouse. Um, I do have at this point in time now all three or all four pieces on. Um, we're screwed on here. I just got this end here to glue and put um, the end cap the end cap on. I don't know if the end cap is really necessary on here. I'm going to be covering these ends up with a uh, trim for the metal so it's not really a, a visibility issue. Um, I'm putting them on. I bought them so I'm going to use them. Um, I don't know if you would need to do them if you're going to be covering them up whether you really need to do that either um, but I also thought it would also help with minimizing any air movement. So the trick is to get this cock into these gaps. So let me show you how I do it. Um, it is not an easy it is not a fast process and it is not a clean process but let's show you it and you can decide what you want to do if you're doing this. Alright so what I do is I take the uh, cock gun and just squeeze it into each little hole. I've tried um, pinching my fingers. There's a video out there I watched a guy do that. Um, he made it look really easy. I found it not to be that easy. Um, I'm not sure he was using a latex. I'm using a silicone. If that flows easier than this or not. Um, but I squeeze in about three-eighths of an inch is what I'm shooting for each end. And when I get them all in, um, you can see sometimes you got to stop and uh, start all over again. But I found this to be the quickest in making sure I'm sealing all these ends. Hopefully this is coming out in the video. Um, but if not, hopefully my description is good enough to help. So when I get this all done, okay, I've got all the silicone in. It's a little messy, but at least I got it all full. I'm going to take the end cap here. Try this with one hand. We'll see how that works holding the camera. Hanging on a stand and on a ladder. We just slide it on. make sure it's good that looks pretty good so all I gotta do is then screw this thing in it's pretty simple I've got this on actually it's on two right now huh I had it on one before So the stuff is pretty tough, like that, um, but it cuts like butter. So make sure you don't get anything on it. As you can see with even my, uh, I hope you can see that. When that bit moved, it 
put a, a dent in the plastic. Um, so I got mixed emotions about this stuff. I'm still pretty excited about it. Um, I'm sorry about here. I'm seeing some silicone on there. Uh, so we'll see how it works. Hopefully it works really good. I don't want to have to take it off <laughs> and redo it, that's for sure. It was uh, a good experience. I like it. Um, difference between this and Tough Tex. Well, this has an R factor where Tough Tex really doesn't. Um, you can get a good overlap on this. You can choose how much you want to overlap on it. I actually overlapped at three and a half inches, or not three and a half, um, close to three inches on the um, on the roof just because I had extra here. Um, when you're in here, the light is definitely diffused. You can't really see out unless uh, you might see a shadow where in the tough text, it's almost like plexiglass or glass. You can see through it. You can see in that greenhouse, we've actually got some insulation up on it. On this side, but on there, you can see in and see the plants. You can see somebody in there. You, you can see movement. In here, you can't. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to bother me. I hope it doesn't. But um, that is one of the downfalls that I see in this material. But I do like the R factor. So if that really works out, that'll be much better. Um, I know in the tough text you get the uh, the wave and you overlap on that. Uh, but they actually, the wind will blow it, open it up. You can get a breeze through it. So it really doesn't give you a capability of a four season greenhouse which is what this is going to be so I think that's was one of the siding factors on this roof but I like it hope you like it uh, if you do hey give me that thumbs up please hit that subscribe button I'll see you in the next video